Thank you for stopping by to check out our latest video. Please give the video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Okay, let's jump right in. Before the launch of the PlayStation 5 this holiday, Sony is looking to build more excitement by revealing more games at launch and beyond. Obviously, since Microsoft has now played their hand by announcing the official price point and launch date for the Xbox Series X and Series S, excited PlayStation fans can more likely expect Sony to finally announce the official price point and launch date for the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. While the price and launch date details are long overdue, we are expecting the final price announcement to be around $499 and $399 for the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 Digital Edition, respectively, depending on unforeseen new platform details that could add to the final price. We are, of course, are certainly excited to see what else Sony has brewing within the development walls of their worldwide studios. The upcoming PlayStation 5 showcase is expected to last 40 minutes with the reveal of the latest titles from Sony's first and third party partners. Will Sony finally showcase the rumored new shooter coming from Guerrilla Games? Popular opinion has their money on the creation of a new SOCOM in the works. While many of us Killzone faithful are still holding on to the hopes of a new and ambitious shooter derived from Guerrilla Games' popular shooter, Killzone. We could potentially see additional gameplay footage from Horizon Zero Dawn 2 Forbidden West, as well as Spider-Man's Miles Morales, Godfall, Demon Souls Remake, Returnal, Ghostwire Tokyo, they could even reveal new world premieres which have been unannounced at this point. Even still, there have been some compelling rumors surrounding Sony's efforts of acquiring new and exclusive content from their third-party development partners. Efforts that make the exclusive Spider-Man inclusion to Marvel's Avengers pale in comparison. But what could those efforts be? Maybe Sony could announce new studio acquisitions, including more details on the specific launch games arriving day and date of the PlayStation 5. We would greatly appreciate some visual details concerning the PlayStation 5 UI and features and how it differs from the PlayStation 4. At launch, how customizable will the PlayStation 5 be? The PlayStation 5 will be the first white PlayStation console, and with so many amazing PlayStation 5 mock-ups storming the net, would Sony consider offering details on the platform's custom details, such as the ability to change the shell of the console itself? Interestingly, on the official PlayStation blog, the upcoming PlayStation 5 showcase update is adorned with a black PlayStation 5. Does this mean Sony could potentially reveal a black model as well? With the upcoming showcase being around 40 minutes long, there's only so much Sony can reveal, and we get that. Yet, we are expecting specifics surrounding the PlayStation 5 pre-order details as well. In addition, specific launch details on backwards compatibility would be appreciated. And with Microsoft offering a monthly buy-in plan for the Series X and Series S, could Sony offer a similar financing option for the PlayStation 5 adopters, potentially consisting of competitive monthly pricing, that also includes PlayStation Now and the PlayStation Plus. At this point, your guess is as good as ours. And there you have it. And for more gaming news and updates, please head on over to our official website at game-insider.com. Thank you so much for checking out our video. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and be sure to subscribe and also hit that notification button to be updated on our latest videos.